Okay, I'm going to add my twig. Now, I, can, I have a number of ways I can add the twig. I could put it here. I, I kind of like this right here. I like it coming off the page, actually. Um, that's called engaging the edge, and it is just more visually pleasing. So I'm going to set it down right over here, and I'm going to Okay, so it down here at the bottom, okay, it has a little piece that sticks out, and then there's this branch, and then this is a bigger branch. Now there are little nodules coming off of it everywhere. So you're not going to draw a straight line. You're going to, here comes, it's going to start here. It's got a little, again, I got my overhand hold. It's got a little bit that's coming up here. And then this piece is going to come off here. It comes up and then it goes out this way. So right here is this part. And then this part comes down here. And up and out. So right in here where they come together, they don't crisscross. And, and they're not... Um, smooth this is a rough little branch okay so now we know we have to take out this and the great thing about a kneaded eraser is you can mold it bend it any shape you want get in there get that out okay and then this is going to come up here like this and now we're going to come this way and off the edge of the paper. So again, we almost lost our nodule off of our leaf. And you know, sometimes you'll draw something and you, or paint it, you'll love it, and then in the next layer, you'll end up covering it up. <laughs> I, I did something wrong there, but that's okay. Okay, so now we've got a lot of little nodules. We've, we're, we're gonna, again, make some, um, it's just, a it's called scumbling and you're just you're trying to show that bark on there okay which is rough and you have to decide in any drawing or painting where the light is coming from we've already decided because it's coming from this way you got that highlight that highlight and this is deep in the center so the light's coming from this direction. So this part of the branch, the twig, is going to be lighter than the underside. Okay, so we're just going to get all this in here quickly. We're just trying to give it some roughness, some texture. And you do that just by scumbling, by just barely letting that um, pencil kind of dance around. Okay, so now if the if the dark part is under here, so now you have to get it darker. So this is if I were painting a tree, this would um, be the darkest part. I'd add a little purple in it. Okay, so now we've got a few little nodules coming off here like this. And these are just tiny little things. Little rough patches in the tree where a little branch would have come off if it had stayed growing. Okay, and now out here, this has a little thing that's sticking up here. And then there's a few little things over here. Okay, so now that's really starting to look much better. Now where these two come together right in here, You want to play around with it at first. You want to see what makes it look right where these two join. So I don't ever go across until I get something on there and then I, I look at it. Uh, again, learning to see. It's critical to understand what it is you're looking at.
okay so now we're going to make some little nodules on this thing they're just rough little they're barely seen you don't want them right across from each other okay so that gives a little bit of that a little darker in there i'm happy with how this is turning out didn't take too long it's lighter on the top darker on the bottom on both twigs okay both parts of that branch now i like what's happening here i'm gonna make it there we go okay i'm happy with that okay so now we have a feather we have a leaf we have a twig and next up we're gonna put our walnut in here like this so we'll be back in a few as we get our walnut in <music> 